Hey everyone, Carla here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Helium 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2020 Range Rover Velar. This is a very premium rack that is just very ergonomic. It's super easy to use. There are no pins, nothing uh, difficult to attach. Everything is tool free. Um, one of the main features of this rack is that you can tilt it away from your vehicle to gain access to the trunk. And I'll show you right here, there's a lever right down here. All you have to do, click that lever, lower it down. And now we can go ahead and gain access to the back of our Range Rover. We can grab whatever we need, get it out, and not worry about it hitting or anything like that. So you can see how it works very, very well. Once your tailgate's down, all you have to do is lift up, it clicks into place, and it's secure again. So that being said, I'll go ahead and remove the bike so I can show you a couple more features on here. To remove it, all you have to do is press on the lever. Make sure you keep one hand on the bike. Lever goes down, or arm goes down. Do the same thing on the other side. And that's just how easy it is to remove the bike from there. All right, I do want to show you how this folds all the way out as well as all the way in. So for storage, these arms just go ahead and fold all the way in. So that way they're not taking too much space. Everything, like I said, is integrated. I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys some measurements. If you're wondering how much this is going to add to your Range Rover, if you're gonna park it in your garage or in a tight spot from our bumper, out to this portion right here is gonna be right at about 24 inches. So that's how much length you're adding to it. As far as ground clearance goes, this is our lowest point on the bike rack and that is going to be right at about 18 inches. So that's pretty good ground clearance. You don't have to worry about scraping a steep driveway or anything like that. Another feature on this rack is that it does fold all the way up by doing this. I do want to point out on the Range Rover, the hitch is sort of recessed in, so it's not going to allow you to tilt it all the way up. So if you are someone that rides all the time, that wants to keep the rack on the vehicle, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, if you plan on just putting it on when you are going to take your bikes out, it's not going to be a huge issue because you're just going to take it off and store it away. So other than that, I want to point out that this rack does come with all the locks included as well. We've got our cable lock to lock our bikes on both trays, as well as a hitch lock. And I'll show you if we can come down here. This is how you lock it into your hitch. It works with inch and a quarter and two inch receivers. We've got a two inch on our Range Rover and it's super easy. All you do is stick it in there, line up the hole, press that in and turn the knob and that tightens all that mechanism in your hitch. There are no tools, again, super easy to use. It does come with the two keys and they are keyed obviously to both the locks that are included. All in all, this is a super easy to use rack. It does work with mountain bikes and road bikes up to three inches and um, it is sort of lightweight for a platinum or a platform type of rack. So is only going to weigh just over 40 pounds. Um, but that should do it for a look at the Thule Helium 2-Bike Platform Rack on our 2020 Range Rover Velar. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway.